All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start working on our alarm light circuit, let's call it. Um, the reason I call it a alarm light, um, it could be called a blinking light. All we're going to do is we're going to use two timers that are going to control a red light, okay? So I'm going to quickly walk you through the circuit. A lot of this should be kind of stuff you guys already know about. You should already know how to hook up a timer. At this point, we're just going to use two timers to kind of play with some stuff. And the reason I wanted to do this lab so badly is because we are gonna use it a lot in PLCs and a little bit in motor controls, but definitely a lot in PLCs. This is a, a very popular type of design, let's call it, all right? So how it works is I've got a, a, a button or I'm a switch, and I'm gonna show you the switch because I'm gonna show you a completed circuit before this is over. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna go through a normally closed contact in our timer two over here. So it's gonna go through that. It's gonna start timer one. When timer one's done, we're just gonna do like three seconds on each one of these. Honestly, the time doesn't matter. I just want a blinking light. But we're gonna do three seconds just for the sake of this uh, exercise. What's gonna happen is after three seconds, this timer one coil over here, or contact, is going to close. It's gonna energize T2. After T2 times out, it's gonna close or open this one here which will then turn around and open this one, and then it will restart, or again, it'll close this one, and then restart timer one. Now, and it's just gonna constantly be working in this loop. As soon as this one's done, this one's gonna come on, this one's gonna turn off, this one's gonna come on, it's gonna go back and forth, okay? So, uh, it's a little bit confusing to wire this part of it, so just kinda wire it, and maybe kinda follow the schematic and not try to think through it. As you go through it the first time, uh, I promise at the end it will make sense. Now, I've connected the light to T1. So every time T1 comes on, it's gonna open this contact, turning off the light. So the light will all normally be on. So what I've really got set up is three seconds, it's going to be on, and then the three seconds it's going to be off, okay? So I've really, we're giving a timer for on and a timer for off, okay? Kind of a lengthy explanation, and this is a very confusing circuit, so go ahead and give it a shot. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you on my trainer how it should work, and then you guys can go ahead and get started. Here's my completed circuit. Some of the stuff that I didn't point out in the schematic or didn't even have in the schematic were my transformer, my breaker, stuff like that. So you wanna make sure you have that. This is this is just sitting here. This does nothing, okay? Um, so how is it gonna work? I'm gonna use this momentary switch right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn it over and you can see my light just went off and it's gonna go back and forth. And you can honestly see which, which timer's working at what time. So one timer goes, then the next one goes. One timer goes, and the next one goes. Okay, so go ahead and build this circuit and show me correct operation with a video.